Gentlemen, I'd like to offer a toast to this long dormant Nintendo franchise that was uh, gracefully given an entry thanks to the Super Monkey Ball developers. Yeah, I will say, I, noticed, oh, I, I recognized AV there. Yes. However, can we get a fucking new one already? It's literally been over. Jesus, been why are they explo What are they detonating charges for each yeah, letter that, input? That's, that's what I was talking about. It's like, this is, this is really loud. It's really loud, and honestly, my ears couldn't be happier because this sound Blow design, it up. because I live for this kind of sound design. Okay. But anyway, it has been close to nine. Uh, it's been close to uh, twenty years, by the way. Dang, since yeah. This game. I'm so sorry, it, I turned down It's my been mic getting phone. close, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our look at on F Zero GX for the Nintendo GameCube. Arguably the best of them. Uh, it, it really is. The longest lasting one. The best, and honestly, also one of the hardest, if not the hardest F Zero game, especially if you go into the story mode, because that shit gets really crazy. No, and I was gonna say, especially if you start going like, you know, at so reaching the top speeds, I'd say probably visually one of the craziest racing games ever. Oh, it's insane. Absolutely, freaking lutely. Like, this is pretty much a game where, like, you could definitely make an argument that the GameCube was kind of ahead of its time in some regard. Look at all these riot racers. Also, look at all these unlockables that you can unlock in game. In modern day, it will take you $20 in microtransactions. Probably. Depending on the game. So, are we doing story mode or just arcade courses? We're primarily going to do the arcade mode just because. Mute setting! I mean... Sorry. But yeah, with that said, um. I do... We haven't really done a proper F-Zero sort related thing since the look at on the Super Nintendo game, like, years ago. Uh -huh. And, you know, like, that was old school. But this is the brand new spanking F-Zero game where Captain Falcon's falcon on his helmet is bigger than the man himself. Do you mind if I ask? Because right. that's something that I tend to forget about. You know, after you pick your character, you can mess with that little slider there. How exactly does that affect a racing gear? So, can I explain this one? Go for it as we race through the twisted roads of Mute City. So, you can either have better control over your vehicle or better speed. Better speed helps in the fact that every single fucking vehicle in this game is way too fucking fast for their own good. However, so why don't worry with about less, handling. However, with less handling or control, you are fucked. So you either need a balance or, unless you're God, you can do one or the other and win the race. So what would you write? What do you? So I guess going back and forth. First time with James. James, what do you typically opt for? I honestly, I'm fine with going going for the in between route because I do prefer having a little bit of speed alongside my handling. And uh, Matt, what do you typically go for? Uh, pretty much what James did. Okay. Okay. Uh, Does the I, meter like? I'm sorry. One more question because I know mm -hmm. all the different riders. Um. Going off the assumption that they do have, like, their own different handlings and whatnot, does messing with that meter at the beginning also, like, add on to the differing attributes of the different riders? Yeah, because I would yeah. say, like, if you're going to go right down the middle, it does correlate with, like, the uh, like the general specs of the racers. But otherwise, like, again, you can just fiddle around with the, uh, fiddle around with the physics as much as you like, but either way, this is still a pretty blazing fast racer, and, uh, pretty much... We're only really skimming the surface of how bug nuts the track design can get. Yeah, this looks remarkably tame for F-Zero GX from my memory. Would you like to know there. how fast this game can get, by the way? Uh, that, as in, like, you mean, like, using the speedometer no. the right there? No, just how fast, like, how blazingly fast this game can go. Like, and, like blink of an eye fast and all that. I saw a like... speedrunner I saw a speedrunner basically boomerang his way literally around the course without touching the track and won that's way. that's a good one no my favorite example is that in this game you can go literally so fast that during the replay it desyncs the audio <laughs> wow well, yeah and you thought you guys thought Sonic the Hedgehog was fast also, yeah, a weird little thing, but you can also change the uh, color of your of your racer and vehicle whenever you feel like. Thank God, by the way, I love I love cosmetic choices like that. Yeah, yeah especially in the middle, especially in the middle of a, G a Grand Prix. Yeah. And right. also, now we're suddenly in a Sonic game. What? Oh yeah, this I is mean, the it's... Casino Palace Zone. <laughs> oh yeah, my God, you're right. So, what was I gonna say? Like, I like um, as as always with AV sound. Design. I'm dead on black. Oh jeez. What are you saying, Logan? Ha, get it. Careful. I would say, uh, definitely, uh, true to form with AV's sound design team, which I believe is the same guy we heard again with Monkey Ball and Yakuza and everything is. 
The soundtrack is great. Like, this, it's, the entire development staff of this game are pretty much the same people that made Super Monkey Balls 1 and 2, which really puts it in perspective why this game is so blazing fast. No, and yeah. the physics and the hand and, and the physics and handling, like, it, we're, given how fast it's going with the kind of levels, putting aside what Matt just said about desyncing, like, it looks like it performs remarkably well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no this game practically runs at, 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 a, at, a, at a near, at a near stable, um, well, actually, I wouldn't even say near stable. It pretty much is a stable 60 frames throughout the whole thing. Yeah, no, okay. like, thi this game, not only does it look, this is a g fucking, this looks game like, game. let's be fair, this looks like it totally will come out on, say, Xbox 3, or Xbox oh, 360, or PS3 oh, yeah. or something. Yeah. This is an entire During the early days, before it. No, yeah, no, if you up the texture fidelity just a little bit, no, this absolutely would belong. This absolutely look looks like it would belong. Yeah, and Honestly, like, I'll, I'll add on to that. And also, you know, something to salivate a certain person for brain scratch. If you give it, like, higher res textures and put it on the Switch, you wouldn't really notice a difference. Yeah, probably, probably not. Probably not, actually, yeah. Yeah, no, I actually, you're right. By the um, way, yes, that'd be fantastic. Nintendo, fucking do it. Uh, oh, I should ask now in terms of like actual like mechanics and stuff. I did notice back on Mute City in here there are they do have those energy charging pads, uh, the energy tracks again. Uh, what do those do in this uh, in this game for this stuff? Uh, your your vehicle runs under a health system, and naturally, if it, if if it completely depletes, your car gets destroyed, and you you essentially retire. Oh jeez. Yeah. Retire. Uh, now yeah, retire. similar to, similar to um. Uh, what was it called? Something Neo? God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm forgetting the name. Similar to that, can you actually expend some of your health for an extra turbo boost? As a matter of fact, you yes. can. After you clear your first lap, you will gain the gain access to your boosters, which, oh, well, in terms of their name, they make you go really freaking fast, but you, it does cost some health to use. By the way, I and... swear I read that at Star Ocean, and I'm just like, not another one. <laughs> also, I, I could have sworn Sand Ocean... I, I'm pretty convinced Sand Ocean is a love is the name of one of the tracks in Sonic Riders. Uh, I'll look into that later. But uh, I don't ooh. think it, I, I'm if it's not a track in Sonic Riders, I know it's it's something from Sonic. I know for certain. Oh jeez. Uh, I'll pose this question to Matt since I asked James the last two. Matt, what is the rival thingy? I noticed a vehicle drove uh, by that said rival. I was yeah. Like, oh. So that is your that basically every single race there you have a quote unquote oh. rival. That person uh -huh. is gunning after you, and you should gun after them as well. Basically, gotcha. they are ready to kill you at any cost. Run away. Run like away at all points. Like, Either only... run away, or if you're really ballsy enough, fight back with your spin attack. Yeah. Oh, you can spin? Yeah, the, sort this, of. a vehicle is actually capable of some amount of melee combat. I guess, like, yeah, I, was, I, guess I was gonna ask, how does combat, is it just like just ramming the other opponent until you know, hopefully your health meter outlasts theirs? Basically. Uh, yes, there, you actually, you do have, you do have a bu button dedicated to literally Ooh. just ramming, on, ramming from the side onto your opponent, and it, and it's very well possible to use it to literally kill off any of, any of the other racers. Yeah, okay. but basically... And whenever you do so, you will a, a skull icon will pop up to prove that you killed somebody, and you should feel bad for it. Yeah, ba so yeah, feel basically, long story short, you have a rival during each race, and oh, by God, I you're better I, killed, I think I killed Black Bull there. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 Skull just appeared there, look at that. You literally killed the main antagonist of the franchise. Good job, right, actually. Wrap it up. We're done. All right, you know, <laughs> that's, <laughs> why, that's why we're not getting another game. Because he does. You, did, you <laughs> killed the bad guy. about Black Bull? You want to know something that's kind of weird about Black Bull in this game? Hmm. What's up? I mean, yes, it is true that throughout the entirety of the franchise, he is considered the main antagonist. But for this game, they kind of treat him more as like a uh, like the, a right-hand man to another vicious let's, player that you only find in the story mode. Let's oh, be they fair. They always combat two on you. Yeah, let's be fair. They always do that in like sequels. They go like, you know, the bad guy from the last game. Well, he's actually the right-hand man of this bad guy. I and mean, then crap! The next... They did that in Crash Bandicoot three too. Actually, huh. cat. Can I just say, so I've been playing Red Dead Redemption, and they do that actually in Red Dead Redemption 2, oh, but in a really, in my opinion, really fucking nice. forced manner. Yes! Oh, I but, see what you did there. You did it. Good job. Ju you did it, like, just at the end. That way he wouldn't have a chance to use his boost against you. Oh, but, yeah. No, like, honestly, if you're if you're getting pretty close to, close to the finish line, that's pretty much your best chance to use up whatever boost power you still have. By the way, makes sense. By the way, awesome. really quick, your whole thing of what you're mentioning... Someone's like, that doesn't look like Never a mind. blue falcon. <laughs> Shh, 
Sorry, I had to make a dumb joke. Continue. No, it's fine. So, is, is it just me or is, the, is my TV's tit settings a little off? <laughs> By the way, anyway, so, Matthew, go ahead. Thank you. So, the what you're uh, talking about with like the villain like somehow being a right hand man. So they kind of do a reverse of that in Red Dead Redemption 2, which I've been playing recently, and by god it feels fucking forced. It's like, Gosh. hey, because 2 is a prequel, by the way, and it's like, hey, you know the bad guy from the first game? Well, he's the he's the right-hand man of the bad guy from the second game. Because, it, or like, in the previous life, he is the right-hand man. No reason, he kind of just is. So, yeah. Like, there's Boy, literally no Boy, does it feel no good to be my own villain. <laughs> yeah, no, but, like, they... And, and also, the scene, the very first scene he's in... I love Red Dead Redemption 2. I love oh, both boy. the Red Dead games. I love all the Rockstar games. Dear fucking... Dear God. It oh, is... Ow. Wait. Dear God, the scene... Uh, the first scene... By the way, the character's name is Ross. The right, first okay. scene Ross appears in, in 2... I feel is so goddamn forced. It actually kind of hurt me. Aww. And that's where, just to let you know, in the uh, in the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 1, uh, spoilers for a 10-year-old game, Jack Mars uh, John Marston dies at the end of Red Dead Redemption 1. Well, and, yeah, he got betrayed more or less. Yeah, and three years later, uh, his son, Jack Marston, goes on a revenge quest against... Edgar Ross, the man who got his Oh, oh, oh devil oh, damn. Lord and Lou. Yeah. yeah, again, this game gets crazy. We haven't even gotten oh, yeah. to the pipe levels yet. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so Edgar Ross, at, so at the end of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, Jack Marston uh, finds Edgar Ross fishing by the side of a river with a shotgun. And yeah, in the very first scene Edgar Ross has in Red Dead Redemption 2, Young Jack, ow, ow, ow. young Jack Marston meets a meets Edgar Ross on the side of a river where Ross is holding a shotgun. Ow, it's very ow. forced. Ow. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be a nice like. Oh, Actually, hero. just oh, gosh. if I can go back a bit, oh, like you were stuff. talking about how like. No, no, you're fine. I was about to say, just going back, you mentioned that, like, you thought it was so forced that it actually hurt you. I'm just having this mental image of, like, oh. Matt's just playing the game. He got to that scene, and the man he saw that scene, it's like, why do my, why is my leg feel all tingly? No, I was thinking more like, oh, Our the rival's pain. gonna win, we have to charge ahead. Uh, you but know, I, will say, uh, I, I understand that game, That game. I, I assume let you ride on horseback, but I didn't think you were that desperate to get, to get a Charlie horse. Ha 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 So I should say, okay, come on, we got this. Oh, oh god damn it, I should totally name a horse nice. Charlie Ooh. in that game. You should. Come so, uh, I should say, I also like that whoever's in first gets a little, like, 3D portrait as opposed to and their own one. And also, it's a rival. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Nice! Yes! Yeah. Just that barely. was a close call. Good one. But I like that about this racing game. It's literally, like, anyone's game, even, like, towards the very end there. Sorry, this is Meteor, but I'm the one who gets first place in this game. <sighs> uh, is it... So, um, are there any rules that can have you, like, eliminated, like, from the nope. arcade mode? Like, you just have to always be in the top six? Just always be in the top. Okay. Yeah, yeah. top six. Uh, it, it, kind of like in Mario, kind of like a Mario Kart logic. If you're anywhere below that, then you're very much, your ass is pretty much grass. Oh, well. Your ass Hell, is you'll grass. pretty much be that way if you let your health deplete. Hey, if I can make a suggestion of something we could talk about... Because I highly doubt we're going to be showing it off anytime real soon. How about we go into the details of this game's infamous story mode? So, it centers around Captain Falcon because, you know, he's really the only F-Zero character that's really worth a damn in Nintendo's library. Yeah. I mean, I mean, granted, there are, I know there's fans of, like, Samurai Goro and Black Bull. Julie Summer. I mean, Wait, is and that And, yeah, Wolf? Julie Summer. Julie, people only like Julie Summer for the fan service. Mm -hmm. She's actually an interesting character, to be fair, but the, wait, the normal lane is too Wait, are these racers just two guys in the same car? Yes. yes. And I was and about I to say, what's they, with they, the they, 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 look like, uh, oh. they look like Admiral Akbar rejects. Look, Logan, do. I'm amazed you didn't notice that one of the racers is literally an octopus man. No, oh. I was too busy distracted by the fact that one of these racers is literally Skeletor. And, and I was distracted by the fact... I was distracted by the fact that I'm pretty sure one of those racers was Wolf Donald. Actually, one of the racers is legitimately a human version of uh, Star Fox's James fuck McLeod. Yeah, James McCloud. Wait, Star Fox and, his is name is, and his name is James McCloud. Yeah, and his, huh. and his F Zero machine is very loosely based on the R Wing. <laughs> well, that is fine. They, they, they knew what they were doing when they included him. 
Wasn't there gonna? Wasn't that like a thing? Almost like wasn't that like one of those like oh, legends say it, Nintendo. There was gonna be like be before you know the fun little reference made at the end of Command. Like there was gonna be like some sort of like stand-in of either Samus or oh god. Uh, and yes, it is possible to fall out. Um, yes, is, that don't is, do that. Honestly. Is, yeah, and I'll say like it wasn't gonna be a thing. But, like it was gonna be either Samus in her ship or a poor Fox or Falco in an R-wing racing in an F-Zero game. Uh, it was with it wasn't with Fox and Falco. They were yeah. like in one of the endings. Star Fox got so depressed over what happened with Crystal, Oof. and you know, for, to, to cheer cheer him up, Falco literally enlisted them both into their own version of F Zero called G Zero because right. you know G Diffuser systems and all that. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm curious. Like, if they Fox. did have to make their own incarnation of Captain Falcon for that universe, what animal do you think he would be? A fucking what Falcon. Falcon. What Falcon. do you think? I'm you sure that wouldn't be not... too obvious. Plus, we already I... have Falco. I would. Uh, part of me would actually love just if that was actually. Buff with Falco. Part of me would love if that was actually a joke they made, where like they, all they hear about is the amazing Captain Falcon, and that's got Falco like a little curious, and then Falcon shows up and it's a hippopotamus. <laughs> and Falco. No, is just that like, would be Samurai Goro. Let's be fair, that'd yeah, be Goro. Uh, I figured Samurai Goro would be a panda because Japanese. Or like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, pandas, pandas, pandas more Chinese, isn't it? Yeah. Or like Captain, oh no, our Captain yeah, Falcon absolutely. shows up and he just looks like freaking Grippy Toad, and Falcon's <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. Or you yeah, know what? Too. Better yet, like Captain Falcon just can just be like the one stock human in that world that they just don't question. I mean, not, why honestly, not? I mean, why not? Honestly, yeah, I would say honestly, like, because you already like just because like. It's a universe. Just because you've established animals are, you know, various species, like a human would just be another type of animal to them. Not to mention the fact that, I mean, I know Nintendo's probably not going to consider it canon anytime soon, but technically, the Star Fox team did go through, did did find themselves in a uh, universe full with that had humans in them at one point. Yeah, that is true. Was that again? Starlink. Oh, okay, they didn't right. seem to be. They didn't seem to mind too much, even though they had their dip, 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 dip boys for a bit. Although no, no, that was just the teaser trailer. I think we're near one of those nuclear waste dumps. I think I'm going to be Whoa. sick. Uh, but yeah. I mean, honestly, you would be if you were if you were in one, literally in the driver's seat. Oh yeah, I can see that. But with that yeah. said, that's pretty much it for this Grand Prix. And uh, big shot, Captain Falcon is the literal champ. Man, I Yay. knew this shit would him. He anyway, sorry. Let's go back parties. to let's go back oh, to that God. story mode. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Continue so, the story mode. Yes. Oh yeah, so in the story mode, it centers around Captain Falcon, again, big shock, and he's pretty much on a mission to look for, uh, well, he, he's mostly just doing his usual thing of being the best racer of them all while still sticking to his um, side hobby of being of a bounty hunter, and uh, dur around that time is also when Black Bull has been given the chance to, you know, try to reign supreme one last time, though it's also here where it's also confirmed that, you know, he's following someone else who turns out to be Big Buff Rainbow Dude. <laughs> and apparently Big Bug Rainbow Dude is gone, I guess, and what? God challenges <laughs> Captain Falcon. The story mode in general for this game is fucking butt nuts. God wants to go go-kart racing? Wait, I'm amazed that they introduced Taboo so many years earlier than he is supposed to. You know, I I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, like, the way James described that sounds like something that wouldn't be too far-fetched if Platinum ever made an F-Zero game. <laughs> Hold on, really That's quick, funny. really quick. I love this here, and it's just like, yeah! Thank you for enjoying the race. Now, pulls out a gun. Half of you are under arrest. Oh yeah, because yeah. isn't that his whole thing? Is like he he goes into these things like undercover yeah, to he's track a, down. Well, no, the well, no, no. Ra racing is pretty much no. Racing is pretty much part of part of his. You know, it's his bread and butter. The bounty hunter gig is the bounty hunter stuff is just something he does on the side. Yeah, I just okay. imagine it's like half of you are under arrest. But why? Half of you has oh, a fucking bounty hunter. Hold guys. Head. It's time for a special interview. Oh, let's listen. That's zero TV. Whenever you beat a Grand Prix, you get to have a special interview by this uh, funny-looking guy with the goggles. This from man. A special F Zero GP. And has voice acting. We're broadcasting an interview with. Oh, that means we actually champion. get to hear him say something other okay, than Falcon Punch. I'd like to ask you. Falcon, Falcon. And it's here we actually get to choose what the question will be. Like, why'd you become a racer, or you know, nice F Zero machine? So let's see. Can you tell us why you became an F Zero racer? I was born to be an F Zero racer. Okay. Thanks for your well, that was it. Champion. Prompt. That's it, everyone. He was born to be a racer. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Also, he sounded a lot. He sounded way more mellowed out. Like, thanks, thanks to my new, thanks to my new medication, I'm now feeling more comfortable and less aggressive in all instances of my life. 
Oh yeah, one and another interesting little fun fact: the uh, the narration guy that does all the three, two, one shenanigans. He actually returned for a uh, for um, what was it? Um, Fast RMX. Oh, cool. Huh. By the way, really all quick, right. I do apologize deeply, uh, James. Can you please replace the replace the see you next time with see you space cowboy? It just reminded me of that. Oh, I was. Uh, thinking that. I'll think about it. I was thinking of Mario's. See you next time. See you next time. It's like, hey, that's a very good. Mind if I borrow that for Mario Kart 8? <laughs> I mean, they did, and it was pretty I fun. I thought honestly, it was a nice little... Honestly, Mute City uh, was, Mute... a fun de- was a fun thing of that. Mute City is my second favorite track in uh, Mario Kart 8, right next to uh, Dragon Drift Play. I forget. I, it's actually been a while well since I played 8, de- 8 Deluxe. Do you, uh, do you get to unlock a cart that looks like the Blue Falcon? Uh, that came with the original. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Big yeah, yeah and then... Fuck, dude... It's, I mean, honestly, yeah, it's pretty great. nice. Like, it's just, considering the fact that, you know, Mario Kart 8 actually was gracious enough to give give us, you know, other Nintendo characters besides those from Mario. Wow. Yeah, sad they did, didn't go, just go the full nine yards and give us Captain Falcon to, you know, oh, acknowledge the fact oh, that, you know, this franchise hasn't been relevant in a while. Thunder Wasp and the Three Mighties and Hip Blackpool. Actually, the um, last also not listed Wasp. here is that um, you can also unlock characters from the arcade version of the F Zero GX called AX. Oh. And one of them is that same. Rainbow, rainbow colored buff man. That's the main villain of the game. Oh, but you can't actually play as him on the console version. Yes. Mm. Oh, I was wrong. I complete. Sorry, I had a complete brain fart. Yeah, of course you would. Yeah. Okay. Let's get. Let's look at our completed save file. <gasps> yeah, I decided to go ahead and show this off just because. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to show off. You know, all the F Zero racers you can find in the game. My favorite yeah. thing about this about the Octopus Man is that his name oh, is literally Octo Man. James Octoman. McCloud. Yep, James McC- I love how he even has the sunglasses like James Absolutely. does. Absolutely. The skull. And Super Arrow. And, Mrs. and his Arrow. wife. Mrs. Arrow. She was our rival for, for the Grand Prix, by the way, so um, funny coincidence. Blood Falcon, okay. who may or may not be Falcon's brother, and Black Shadow. No, he's a clone. He's a clone. Okay. <laughs> actually, I... F- and I... these are all the AX, AX characters, along with... Uh, or actually, wait, what am I doing? Oh, that's right. I decided to... Um, Go into one of their character descriptions, oh, which not only rich, rich. details like their overall character, or what, what the, the vehicle they ride. If you fulfill certain conditions, that you can also unlock their special CG movies. Oh. CG movies. Why don't we watch one of them? Let's see. And these can get really fucking goofy. The tragedy of the, the laundromat. The laundromat. <laughs> what? With Blood Falcon? Even being a clone of the Captain Greek Captain, even he abides to proper hygiene. Also, these are fairly well animated. Yeah, this it looks very smooth. Uh, for their time, for their time. <laughs> like these could get oh, these have not aged. Get all our clothing now. Are those? I'm not getting. I'm not. Unfortunately, he forgot that his clothes are all dry clean. Oh, oops. No. <laughs> I'm a big boy. Well, that <laughs> was um <laughs> something. Let's learn more about Samurai Goro. Yes, uh, Captain Falcon's uh, self-proclaimed greatest rival. But they're both bounty hunters. They should be on the same side. And... Yes, because bounty hunters always team up. Hey, rival... Te- it's kind of like Sonic and Knuckles. They're on the same side, but they want to compete to see who is better at what they're... Samurai at what? Goro in... Moonlight Outlaw. Oh. Ah! In this universe, they don't even have to have their F-Zero vehicles just to try. <laughs> <laughs> this is like that. This is like that Mario Kart Eight meme. Yeah. Totally is. But not Mario Kart Eight. Mario Kart Wii. Wii. Yeah. Yeah. We just. I think my favorite is the one where they're not even pretending they're to just ride. Run. They're just running. <laughs> just running super fast. Like, oh, 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 hey guys, hey guys. No! I'm the best. Oh, hold it. Oh, oh. oh. Don't mind me, sonny. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally not. Oh gosh. Oh fuck you. He just. He just <laughs> I would love if he just explodes. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Can I just say that first off, I love the fact that he actually did stop for him and chose to wait till right he was directly in front of him to keep going. Now that's perfect. All right. What's oh wait? What's Jody? Real quick. What's Jody Summers thing? She's another bounty hunter or just a? No. She she used to be a. Poli- she's with the Galactic Federation. She used oh. to, yeah. She used to be basically a space police officer that got in such a horrible accident that pretty much only her head is left of her body. The rest of it is a cyborg. Oh. Well, also, if I mentioned the Federation, so she may have worked with Samus at one point. Fancy I mean, queen. I can totally buy that. Make uh, she's doing a ribbon only dance. 25. Just. Someone yeah. in Japan was like, 
don't worry. I know what people want from Jody. Honestly, watching some of these scenes, you can definitely tell some of the staff that made these CG cutscenes, you know, had a little too much fun. Oh, yeah, oh. no. Well, nothing wrong with having fun. I mean, it, also, and I would, it would probably also explain why this game has a T rating. That, too. Let's learn more about James McCloud. Oh, I was told. Oh, or this guy. <laughs> Fuck you. Or Mr. EAD, named after the same same division of Nintendo. And yes, oh. he is supposed to be a Mario homage. I was saying, I mentioned. Yeah, that, make, that, that explains the red and the star, man. Doesn't explain the rest of them, though. <laughs> Just look at that stash of his. Let's find out. It is Mr. Eden. Baking, baking class. class. Alrighty. <laughs> Ready to get awkward? Yeah, oh, God. Oh, no! Um, no! Oh, I was is. about to make. I was about to make the freaking uh, meet the Robinsons jokes of bake those cookies, mystery grandma. Oh, is he making a peach cake? Looks uh, like it. maybe. Yeah, it looks like the same strawberry. Cake. By the way, uh, should also be mentioned, he's an android. Oh shit! No, oh, the cake man. is a lie. What the? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> They're all a whole legion of them. And now they shall dig in. Stop zooming in on that. What great cake! <laughs> Oh my God. I don't like this, James. <laughs> You're number two. <laughs> no, okay, let's turn back. Now let's wash our palate with uh, Scalamania. 241 years old. Thanks to the inexplicable powers of science and black magic. That's it. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm leaving. <laughs> How many of these are we going to be watching, if I can ask? I'm I picked curious. it. I, I did, I mean, we're not watching all of them. Don't worry. I did pick a few, though. Just these are the fun, ones that I, Oh, yeah. No, these are absolutely... They're, they're stupid fun. And I figured oh, no, they are. I was just asking how many. I live. Seeing that shot kind of makes me think of Dan Fortescue. I was about to say he comes up. I can see that. He has risen again. Ow, that lightning hit my. Oh, oh. fuck, again! Oh, what was I am. He has risen right again. Back. What was his name? I don't know. Let's oh, just call him the skull. Oh, oh god damn it! Speaking of which, it's skull. It looks like a oh, 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 that's a creepy skull. Yeah, that's creepy. Gross. Okay. And of course, the one to beat them all, the great Captain Falcon himself. I'll have to ask uh, what I'll have to ask what James McClouds was was later. It's uh, that it's really goofy. I mean, okay, okay great, then they're all goofy. But like these all of them are goofy. Oh, yeah, but this one is probably one of the goofier ones. And now it's time for Captain Falcon's close call. That's saying something. Oh, oh look, oh, there's a baby oh. trap trapped on the train track. This Johnny, one, I've seen could... this. Oh no, that's Mrs. Oh, that's Mrs. Arrow. <laughs> Mrs. Arrow, how Don't worry, you? Mrs. Arrow. I'll save the baby. <laughs> Going full on Sentai Ranger on this. Do, 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 do. I almost thought Captain Falcon was going to save the pram and not the baby. Oops. He saved the day, but he couldn't quite save his pants. Thank you. What is this music? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Happy to be of service, ma'am. Stop bending. I've over. seen the. I've seen this one before, at least. That, that looks like a Japanese. I'm sorry. That one looked like a freaking Japanese commercial, and it was gonna be, end up being a commercial for like something completely. No, 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 like, no, no. Like, like, like new. Buy Captain Falcon's Wi-Fi router. No, 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 no. Better idea. You did see what that train said, right? Thank you for what? way good. Like even Captain Falcon would outrun Amtran. <laughs> Like, maybe it was just me, but I was half expecting him to, like, while hold the baby, like, do a Devil Damn Falcon punch on the train. Oh, jeez. I mean, it would be kind of interesting, but it's funny, considering the fact that the F-Zero series wouldn't even acknowledge the fact that, you know, he has the Falcon Punch until the anime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I think that was, like, the very la I I love that, like, uh, Runaway Guys made that joke about how, like, that's how the anime ended him doing the Falcon Punch that not only killed... Uh, who was he punching again? Black Bull. Uh, Black Bull. Okay, yeah, Black that, that not only killed Black Bull, but apparently killed himself and a good Black chunk Shadow's of... Black the name of the guy. Black yeah. Bull's the name of his vehicle. Mm. Okay, so it's like right. he punched him, like killing him, apparently killing himself, and killing a good chunk of the world, and I love the joke that John made where it's like, he died doing what he loved, punching people in the face. Yeah. <laughs> that, and like, again, like, that, also the fact that, like, people can make the joke of, wow, he literally killed the entire franchise with that moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for our look at on F Zero GX. Unfortunately, it is unfortunately stuck in the limbo that is the GameCube. And unless Nintendo decide to ever give it the, you know, HD treatment. Which we all will... know they won't. Yeah. Unfortunately, F Zero is one, only a franchise that will be relegated to either Mario Kart cameos or Smash Brothers representation. That's literally it. Right. Well, I mean, at least he still has Smash. That is true. I mean, mm -hmm. literally, that's all he has left. <laughs> but that said, uh, see you all next time. See ya. Falcon, cry! Aha!
We'll show you my moves for food. <laughs>